Now we're going to walk through the Maps app, which is a quite handy way to use your iPad mini or iPad normal size uh, on the go. So if you have the Wi-Fi iPad, the Maps will update and work uh, whenever you're connected, but that's about it. So that means you can you know load it up in Starbucks ahead of time or something. But if to really take advantage of the driving directions in the Apple Maps, then you probably need the 3G option or 4G, whatever option they have, the cellular service. So basically it's worth adding that on if you think that you need, are gonna use your iPad in your car and want driving directions or something like that. All right, so before we launch the Maps app, I'm going to tap on Settings and scroll over down here. You can see that we have selected Maps and this is where we can choose miles or kilometers Make sure the map labels are always in English or not, uh, and the preferred directions, whether they're driving or walking. So for example, if you live in New York City, you may want walking directions rather than driving as the default. You can always choose the other option, but you don't have to. All right, now we're gonna jump into the Maps app, and that'll show you where I am right now, which is pretty fun. Uh, so basically, we're right in Cambridge, and Let's say we want to look at, th look at things a little bit differently. We're gonna scroll in right here, and that's basically the Harvard campus, and we're gonna do the 3D view. So I tapped on the bottom, and that does 3D. And now let's say right here on the bottom right, we want things to look a little more realistic. So we're gonna hit the hybrid option, which is right there, and that'll take a, just a few seconds, but it'll actually be pulling up uh, something that you've probably seen before on Google Maps, but it shows you the actual trees and all that stuff. So we'll just zoom in right here. And let's say we really pivot it. So I'm using two fingers right now on the iPad and just pivoting one, ar one around the other. Uh, it's as simple as that. It's just like a, a bicycle wheel. All right, so we can keep scrolling in and keep looking at what we have here. And this is Harvard Square, for example. And I'm just showing you this purely to give you an idea about what you can do with the Maps app. So you can tap on an individual item and it'll now basically show you how far away it is, uh, some Yelp reviews, and it'll even give you some more information about each thing. So let's say you want to go to Brattle Square. So we'll just tap the little car button and it'll automatically start plotting some directions for you. So it tells you exactly where to go. And in order to do that, you just tap on the top right and hit start, and it'll start walking you through it. But we're not actually gonna do that. So as you can see, I'll scroll through on the top and it'll walk you through exactly how to get to a, a random location that I selected. All right, so now we're going to choose that city mode here, which is the second from the left button on the bottom that I just selected. And that'll actually make the buildings pop out a little bit. So it actually looks like a real city, like you're zooming in on it. So we're just gonna uh, zoom in right here. Let's choose Langdell Library at Harvard Law School. So we'll keep zooming in there and sometimes it'll look nicer than others, but in general, you can see it pretty well. Let's say we wanna see the best exits and entrances. We can pivot around and see what it is. It's a little obscured by trees, but that's okay. So looks pretty cool. Now let's say we want to adjust it so we're looking north. You can tap the top right compass button right there. So now everything is adjusted properly. So I'm just pinching back out uh, and now we're going to navigate around. So let's say we want to find a new destination. We're just going to pick a random one and we'll say the Pottery Barn kids nearby and it'll say did you mean and sure that's what I meant. So this shows you exactly where it is, and if you want to use it, you just tap this little button right here, the car button, and it'll automatically plot out some directions for you. So just like before, all pretty easy to use, but now you see on the bottom middle, there's a little dot and then a line, followed by a couple more of those. Just tap that, and that'll give you the step-by-step -step directions over how to get there. So sorry if that flickered just now a little bit, but basically, it's extremely straightforward to use, and if you have the cell version of the iPad, then I would strongly recommend you use you know, the maps on a regular basis, because for whatever reason, they seem to actually work better on this than on my iPhone, but that may vary. All right, so now I'm going to show you uh, 
another little bit. So we actually have Google Maps open as well. So there's a Google Maps app that uh, is pretty good as well for the iPad. So if you're used to Google Maps, maps.google.com, then you're used to seeing all this stuff. So you can do your map and all this. It probably loads a little faster on the desktop than you're used to. But let's go back to our iPad real quick. So all I did was scroll over here. And so you can see now we have a Google Maps app right there. And just in the interest of giving you all the options, basically, there's a few other Maps apps, map apps out there. But I would definitely use the Apple Maps and the Google Maps to figure out what I actually want to do. So this works very similar to the Apple app, uh, but it's also free, which is nice. You tap on the few hash marks on the top left to pull up things like traffic and to find public transit information, which is pretty cool. Um, so basically, if you're looking for how to get around town, you can see that you know the red line right now over there is uh, pretty close by. We have the orange line, the green line, all those different wonderful Boston places. Um, it's all pretty useful. One thing that I really like is the bicycling apps uh, or the bicycling mode because I like to bicycle and it'll actually show you all the great parts to bike around and it'll also give you some great trails and optional routes that you can take. So there's a lot of places around us as you can see. Uh, for example right here over at the Harvard Business School, a ton of places that people bike. So that's pretty cool. In any case, uh, one thing about Google Maps is it'll store all the stuff that you search for uh, in Google Maps and let you look that up on the iPad. So it does that using your Google account. All right, so that should be about it. And I hope that you learned a little bit about the Maps app and about Google Maps, and they're all pretty easy to use. So you can always just find them on the App Store and be sure to check out the Apple Maps first since it comes pre-installed. Hope you enjoyed.